yeah, just the, the offense wasn't where it needed to be. DWB online made it hard to throw. There were plenty of times where Derek King had plenty of time and App State was completely just ready for whatever we were running. We dialed up a couple double moves I saw. Remember that uh, two years ago, the Super Bowl, that play that Patrick Mahomes and uh, Kansas City drew up, it was the double move they called Cheetah or whatever it was to uh, Hill. Yep. We dialed that up, which is a pass that takes a long time to come open. If you remember that great, great piece from NFL Films about it, right? We dialed that play up, have not dialed that play up any time recently. Definitely not that game. App State was ready like that's a staple, like that's inside zone read. They were all over that play. And I remember watching that and was just like, okay, you know, now was there hours of time on every throw? No, but dear King also missed throws. You know, um, I talked about it last week. We're upon further review of a different, um, by a, a different Kane's content creator. There's multiple touchdowns in the Alabama game that were either unthrown and one of them was because the offensive line got beat, and one where you threw short and it should have been a switch route and thrown deep. I there were there were people open last week, and I wrote one. You know, during the game, I was like, "You got to get that ball up, Derek." Like it was to it wasn't to the far side, but it was to the left, and it was short. So then the receiver, I think it was Charleston Rambo, like had to go to a knee to catch the ball with nothing but green grass in front of him, and then maybe a defender ten yards down who maybe you do a shake, maybe you just get past him. Who knows? You know what I mean? But I think dumping on the offensive line is the easy thing to do. And I don't necessarily believe that a hundred percent to be the case currently. So we did have a couple big drops, Will Mallory, Mike Harley, Xavier Restrepo. Uh, Mike Harley had two of them actually that were really bad. Uh, um, you had a, a tight end post on the first drive to Will Mallory. It couldn't have hit him more in between the two hands. I mean, a perfect throw on the dime dropped. If you make those plays, now things look a little bit different, and then maybe we build off of those. But just saying the offensive line was bad and we didn't have any time to throw, I think that that's a crutch that Miami fans have leaned on for a long time that is not actually backed up when you look at the game and then go back and watch the film. We also just need D.R. King to be better, period, and stop. That's it. Because, again, our offense is predicated on him being one of the best no matter what number it is, but being one of the top tier of college quarterbacks. He's not going to go play it in the NFL. We know. But he needs to be better and show that he's better at this level. Because, again, if you're playing as a passer, I know that he has magic. I know that he's going to step out of some stacks. He's going to run. He's going to scramble. He's going to do some things with his legs. Yes, I know. And I love those things because they kept the chains moving. He got his points. But in terms of throwing the ball, if there is an indistinguishable difference between you and Chase Bryce, then there is a problem because this Miami team is not going to go and win nine or ten games with Chase Bryce at quarterback, that kind of performance. But that's what we're getting from De'Aaron King right now. He must be better. Think about last year, NC State, that game when he had 400-something yards, all them touchdowns, going up and down the field, also ran. And again, the running is going to be a component, Right. But throwing the ball, he was infinitely better than anything we've seen this year. We need that guy or something close to that guy. Because, again, and I'm not trying to dump on Chase Bryce, but Chase Bryce is extra regular regular. He's a top, what, 80 quarterback in the country? We need De'Aaron King to be a top 20 quarterback in the country. We need him to be better for this offense to go. Throwing the ball. Miss me with the running stuff because I know that he's going to be good at that. When I asked blindly stats this week. People want to jump at me. Oh, you're you're trying to, uh, you know, just talk about it. I'm trying to talk about Derek King as a passer. It's not good enough right now. And if you think that him as a passer doing what he did last week is good enough for me to, or for us to win 10 games, then come and tell me, and I will tell you to your face that you're a liar. That is not good enough, Derek. And you know that it's not good enough. So it has to get better. And whether that's from the play calling, whether that's the blocking, whether that's the receiving, actually catching the ball, whatever it is, all of it together must be better. But we're not seeing a De'Ara King that's going to lead a team to nine or ten wins, not by the performances we've seen these last two weeks. So, <clears throat> so excuse me, it's on quarterback number one, wearing jersey number one, to step his game up to the levels that we've seen over the course of these past five years. 
That's what it is. 